See how the jellyfish use their bell to move up and down as they extract water and a leaf. Jellyfish are mainly just made up of water, roughly 98% more or less depending on the jellyfish. There are over 200 different types of jellyfish in the world today. Each jellyfish has three layers. Not layers like a cake, but layers like an onion. They have the outer layer, which is the epidermis, and the middle layer called the sublea, and the inner inner layer, the astrodermis. Look closely at each tentacle and see how similar they are compared to the jellyfish tentacles. Both the sea anemone and jellyfish are in the same phylum, which is the nadaria. Jellyfish don't have a brain, and they don't have blood inside their body. The only thing they have besides the water is a nerve system. And the nerve system senses odor, light, and color. There is one type of jellyfish that does not live in saltwater oceans. They live in fresh water, and they are really small, and they can't sting. Jellyfish are carnivores. They eat zooplankton, small fish, and other invertebrates. When you see one jellyfish, you normally see another, and that's because they live in packs. If a jellyfish is removed from water, the whole body sort of collapses and can immediately die. Sea turtles are a great example of one of the jellyfish's main predators. Other predators for the jellyfish besides the sea turtle are the sunfish, tuna, shark, swordfish, some Pacific salmon, seabirds, crabs, and shrimp. This is the basic structure of a jellyfish. Um, depending on each jellyfish, the structure will vary just a little. But for now, I'm just going to be talking about a basic jellyfish. You're going to start at the bottom. The oral arms are little arm things, obviously. And they have little hairs on them that can detect the jellyfish's food that is edible for them. So once they find prey, like if you print in or something, they'll bring their arms out and like sting it with their tentacles and then the arms will bring it to their mouth, which is right here. <coughs> then that food will go into their stomach pouch, and for that's inside the hood slash bell. And the hood slash bell is the only part of the jellyfish that can't harm you. That's on the outside. So if you ever find a jellyfish, make sure you stay away from the tentacles or oral arms and go more for that. But don't really approach a jellyfish if you actually see one. And then they also have these things called eye spots, which are below the stomach pouch. And that's all.